Uh, good afternoon, everybody. Uh, let me take the opportunity on behalf of our native family to welcome you. And thank you so much for having content coming to us on this memorable day. Thank you so much. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, family, friends, and esteemed guests, we gather here today to celebrate the remarkable life of this Wanyeke, a woman whose impact on the life of many has left an indelible mark. Born on the 28th of November 1951 in Galipeni Town, Moranga County, she was the daughter of the late Peterson Gadari Karioki and Naomi Wangeshi. Lizzie was the sixth child in a family of ten siblings, uh, surrounded by the love and support of her brothers and sisters, uh, John Gadari, the late Lydia Swangari, the late Christian Joki, John Sidoroge, Silvio Amboi, David Bogambi, Samuel Maili, Rachel Wagikoyo, and Joseph Kirago, her education. Lizzie's journey began at Galipini Primary School, where she laid the foundation for a long time learning. Her academic prowess led her to Kahulia Girls High School and later to Makuru High School, shaping her into a woman of knowledge and resilience. Her pursuit of higher education continued at Kenyatta College, now Kenyatta University, where she studied education, honing her skills and embracing the opportunities that would shape her future. Her family. She was the wife of the late Joseph Mburu Wanyoike, mother to Anthony Mburu, Susan Wairimo Wanyoike, Stella Wanjiro and Lawrence Joroga, Eric Kalyoki and Melody Wanjiro Wanyoike, mother in love to Anne Wanjiro, David Woro and Peter Gitao. A doting grandmother to Ayana Wanjiro, Shina Muzoni, Ethan Moro, Jonathan Gigi, Sidney Mburu, Shaza, Shaza Kerich, Jay Mburu, Shemil Mudoni, Lizzy Mudoni, Karioki, Ian Philip, uh, Philip Devo, and Lizzy Mudoni Wameki. Uh, her career. Her career started as a teacher at the State House Girls High School, teaching business studies. She later transferred to Temple College as a teacher in secretary duties. The beginning of her first opportunity, built on her dedication and commitment, she quickly rose from the position of lecturer to deputy principal and finally co-owner of Temple College. Lizzie's entrepreneurial spirit and commitment to education led her to establish Needs Technical College a testament to her vision for empowering others through knowledge and skills. The institution stands as a leading legacy, impacting countless lives by providing quality education and fostering a culture of excellence. In addition, Lizzie's achievements went on. The Emory Hotel stands as a symbol of her commitment to the hospitality and service industry. The establishment of this hotel was her vision that went beyond business. It was about creating spaces where people could thrive, learn, and experience the best of life. A true, a true philanthropist at heart, Lizzie Wanyeke founded the Lizzie Wanyeke Foundation, embodying her, her belief in giving back to the community. Through, his, through, this, through this foundation, she touches the lives of many offering an opportunity for growth, development, and a chance for a brighter future. This is dedication to education and nurturing young parents was evidenced by the establishment of the Lindsay Wanyeke Preparatory and Senior School, a testament to her unwavering commitment to shaping the minds of the younger generation and providing them with a strong foundation for success, both in school and at home. Promotion to glory. Three years ago, Liz faced health challenges that tested her strength and resilience. And retired, she sought treatment in Kenya, India, and USA, displaying incredible courage throughout her journey. On January 14, 2024, Liz Wanyeke took her well deserved rest, leaving behind a legacy that will continue to inspire generations to come. 
as we reflect on this design, let us remember her as a woman of vision, compassion, and determination. Let us carry forward the touch she leads, the torch she leads, ensuring that her legacy lives on in the hearts of those she touches. May her soul rest in eternal peace. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. Uh, let's celebrate that uh, wonderful life of Liz. Let's celebrate the Thank you very much. Thank you. Tony, please come for the family to do or speech. Uh, Tony.